Hey, what's up? Do you wanna go from knowing no Kotlin to being the Kotlin expert? If you do, be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Cody Engel. I am a staff software engineer, and through this video series, I will be teaching you all of the ins and outs of Kotlin. Uh, you will go from knowing no Kotlin to being the Kotlin whiz. Uh, and uh, yeah, with that, there's not really a whole lot else to do other than to uh, hop on over to the computer and get started. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do before we can start writing Kotlin is we want to install our IDE. And the one that we will be using for this tutorial is IntelliJ. So uh, once you're on the IntelliJ website, just go ahead and click download. Uh, you'll just wanna select the uh, platform that you wanna install this for. In my case, it would be Mac OS. So um, I would click download. I already have it installed, so I will not actually save it, but uh, go ahead, download it, install it, um, be all set and good to go there. And then the next step is to come over here, uh, which will be on Oracle's website to install the Java JDK. For that, you just wanna come down here um, and then click on accept license agreement. And then in my case, I would be selecting Mac OS, the DMJ, but uh, if you're on Linux or Windows, select the one that makes sense for you. And then once you have the JDK installed, uh, we can go ahead and open up IntelliJ. And then for this, we want to select create new project. Um, you may be defaulted where it says Java. In this case, we're going to select Gradle and then select Kotlin JVM as an additional library or framework. Next. And then for the group ID, I'm just gonna say dev.ingle, but you can give it whatever group ID you want. And then I'm gonna call this one learn Kotlin as the artifact ID, but again, use whatever you want. I will click next. And then from here, it gives me the project name along with the project location. So if you wanna change where it is, you can do that. Uh, but all of these settings look good to me, so I will go ahead and click Finish. It says that a file already exists here, so um, in this case, I already had a project here in the past. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and overwrite it. Uh, if you're creating it for the first time, you likely will not see that. And then it will pop up, it will start building, and then it looks like Learn Kotlin was successful. And so from there, we can now create the Hello World um, application and just make sure that everything is set up properly. So uh, you'll wanna find the source directory and then under main and then under Kotlin, we will create a new um, Kotlin file or class. And then for the file name, I'm just going to call it Hello World, hit enter. Um, for this, I just have um, all of this going into version control, so I'm gonna go ahead and click add. For you, you likely won't see that. Don't worry, that's not a, not a major um, concern. All right, so now we should see something that says hello world over here, and then um, just go ahead and type in main, and you'll see this main function pop up, and then I will hit return which will auto-generate a main function for us. And then I'm gonna say print line. Um, and then we will just say, hello world. We'll hit run. And then when we go through and run it, you should see down here, once it's complete, it will say, hello world. So uh, that is it. I will be making um, more follow-up videos containing all sorts of information about Kotlin, how to use it, the ins and outs, all that good stuff. So if you want to stay up to date, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, click like. Uh, and if you want to be notified whenever the newest videos come out, just click the notification bell. But otherwise, uh, I will see you in the next video.